back to another video. Today, as you can see, we're going to be doing another unboxing three planes, um, three models, I guess, back there. And you can also see that um, back there, I have my airport. I just added, I did a lot, um, and I'm pretty soon going to unveil the finished Jackson Hall. But let's get started into this unboxing. So I'm going to unbox these planes first, and then get to the review. So this one, these ones are all from eBay because these models, I couldn't find them anywhere else. This one is a actually pretty good model. Um, people have said this one is the Gemini Jets Delta 757-200. I'll put that aside. So the next one, I'm going to put that over here. This model... I actually don't know what it is. One, two, put it here. Okay. Hmm. Okay, there we go. So here, it's actually up pretty well. So this one, let's put that box aside. This one is another Gemini Jets model. This is the Alaska Airlines Embraer um, E175, and this is the Alaska um, Airlines honoring those who serve livery. So it's a special livery. Put that aside. And the third model. I'm pretty sure it's an NG models. Okay. okay. So this, yeah, this is the NG models. This one's actually, I, um, I'm really excited for this model. This one is the NG Models Boeing 737-800 with scimitars in the older United Continental livery. So I'm going to unbox this one first, and then I'm going to go down the line. So this model, hoping uh, NG Models did a pretty good job. So this is um, my NG, other NG Models one. It uses a different type of wrapping. Um, that one uses the styrofoam bottom, but this is more like the Gemini Jets packaging with the just the plastic. Um, also, that's the plastic. And then we can take out the model. This does look very, very nice. So here, we have the model. So I'm going to focus the camera. As you can see at the front, we have the nose here um, of the plane with the, you know, bring that down. Um, and then we have the nose landing gear with the small Star Alliance logo. And here we have the L1 door. And at the front, we have the United, the wording, with some windows. And then we have two emergency exits here with the an antenna. This is a light, but it's not 3D, it's just a paint. Um, and then we have some um, this Wi-Fi box. The American flag with no registration on the side with the L2 door. Okay, and on the other side, we see the same um, Star Lines logo with the doors, the emergency exits, and the... the um, the second door with the American flag. This does not have the registration on the model. Um, and also, on the model, as you can see, we have the luggage doors. So, on the front, the nose does look pretty good, but there are some problems with the 800 mold nose uh, for NG models. 
so this nose does look pretty good. Um, one thing I might this might not be real it's true, but um, may, I think the engines on this model should be a bit bigger. They don't exactly get close enough to the ground, I don't think. So that's a problem, I guess. The scimitars do look really good. Um, I really like them. On the top, as you can see, we have the emergency exit doors, and then we can see the imprints for the flaps and spoilers on the on bottom of the model we can see the engine details the engine details with the landing gears and then there the holes where the landing gear tracks into and then we can see another red antenna with the nose landing gear probably can't see this but at the top it says 737-800 on the back, we have the two more antennas. So overall, this model is really, really nice. Um, I'm really excited for it because this is going to be part of Jackson Hall. Um, I do, um, this is a nice model. So, put this model aside. Right here. And then, we're going to go down to the second one. This is the Alaskan Airlines um, E-175. This is in the Gemini Jets box made for collectors by collector with the image of the aircraft with Embraer E-175 -E with Alaska 1400 diecast model aircraft. And then we have the look inside. Um, you can pause it to read if you want. This is the information about the aircraft. And we can see the model in there. Side, we can see the Gemini Jets logo with 1400 scale die cast model, highly collectible, superior quality, realistic metal landing gear, detailed printed graphics, and as real as it gets features. On the um on the side here, we can see the Gemini Jets logo with another um picture of the model. And then here we have a Gemini Jets adult collectible model and it says warning contains small parts unsuitable for children under 14 years of age on the side we have another gemini jets logo with the picture on the back we have this um model this has the the flat line instead of the um curved one and we have more as real as it gets features okay and then we can unbox this model so this um in the regular Gemini Jets packaging because you got the plastic and then we have the model this livery does look very, very nice. So I'm actually pretty happy that I got this one. Okay. So if we can focus on the aircraft. We have the, the, the nose here with the L1 door. With the honoring those who serve. And then we have the windows. And then on the back we see the... Um, this red line that goes across and over to the other side of the aircraft with the registration, which is um, N651QX. And then we have another um, American flag with the L2 door. We can also see on the tail. We can also see on the tail, let me focus the camera, um, that the the regular Alaskan Airlines um, the logo. And then we have the blue for the special livery. And we can see that on these, I don't know what to call these, they're not winglets, but we see the American flag here. And then this engine is also, um, has some, the, has the golden stripes with this blue the same color as the blue on the rest of the aircraft and we have some more details on the wings um these look pretty good and on the front you can see the nose with the landing gear 
The engine is not the most detailed, but... And then on the back, we can see the APU exhaust with the, um, the back. We have this, which I doesn't look too good, but it's on basically every Gemini Jets ERJ. Um, we have the engines, the two landing gears with the imprints for the re where they retract. We have a lot of detail here, and then we have the, f um, the nose landing gear. So this model, I really like this livery. It looks pretty good. Um, Gemini Jets is doing another, um, the 737 in this 737-800 and this Alaska honoring those who serve livery. So I'm pretty excited for that one because this livery does look pretty good. I'm going to put that model here. And for our final one, we have the Gemini Jets. Um, Delta 757-200. I'm not going to go over the box um, because I went over it. They're pretty much the same except the images. But um, one thing I'd like to point out on this um, is that this is one of their older, I guess, boxes. So they have this curved line. And on the inside, they have, instead of the blue, they kind of have this map background. Um, you can pause it if you'd like to read this. I'm going to open the, this model. Then here we have the sorry, um, the the box. Um, I have noticed that these thing, um, some of these have a I guess smaller where the um smaller going down the so these ones are bigger. This um this piece of plastic that goes on top of the model, this is also a lot bigger. And then we can take out the model. This is a very, very nice model. Okay. So here. Alright, so for this model, we can on the nose. We can see the nose, um, the cockpit windows with the Sky Team logo with the the L1 door with the Delta logo again with um, Delta. We have a light. This one is not 3D. Mm, we have an antenna. We have the L2 door. Moving on, we have the two emergency exits as you can see here with a Wi-Fi dome and another. Um, another antenna the and we have the american flag with the registration of the aircraft which is um n551 nw and then followed by the third um the door and then on the back on the tail and then on the tail we can see the numbers which is 5651 on the other side, we basically have the same thing, except on this side we have the luggage doors. And then on the engines and the winglets are the regular blue that you see on other Delta models. On the top, we can see the place where the exit slides are placed, and then we can see the, the imprints for the flaps and the spoilers. And on the bottom of the model, flip it over we have the two to two um two sets of gears um the t four wheels per set and then we have the big delta on the bottom which is there for most of the newer models now um we have the small this is bigger than the normal gemini jets i think and then we have some more this is the the um where the doors for where um the front gear compartment and on the front it says 757-200 but you probably can't see it's very very small so this model i'm actually really excited for because i now um um i have the ng this is ng models version and the and the um the gemini jets version so that's pretty cool actually. So the Gem this is actually one of Gemini Jets' nicest 
molds. It does look very realistic and nice. Um, this is very good. And I got this at a pretty good price, too. These wheels, um, I'm pretty sure they, they roll. They do roll. So that is also a good feature. So these are the three models I got. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope to post before next week, the weekend, because this, I just need to finish up the airport, and that won't take that long, so I can hopefully get out some more videos for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.